We have seen several select statements, and select falls into a category of four types of operations we can do on data. Uh, let me just put it out here. We can. Here's an acronym you should be um, familiar with. It's CRUD. Uh, C is for create. R is for read. U is for update. And D is for delete. And so, so far in the course, you have seen uh, select, which reads data. And now I'm going to show you insert, which which aligns with creating data. Basically, let's see if this trick works here. Yep, there we go. So I'm using the Alt key and dragging when I do that to do a rectangular select. So anyway, creating data, the way we create data in tables is we just insert new rows into those tables. The way we read data is by selecting those rows. Updating. Um, the way we do an update is with update. We'll show you update in a different video. And the way we do delete is with delete, which I'll show in another video as well. So these are the four core operations we like to do on data. And so far, all we've studied is read or the select statement. So let me show you insert real quick. Uh, notice here I have the region table. And there's eastern, western, northern, southern. Say I want to create another region for whatever reason. Insert into the region table. Values, uh, let's go five, and let's make a Jamie region because I think I'm pretty important, or at least sometimes I do. Uh, rerun that. Notice uh, when I hit a five there, you notice everything blinked, and that's because the select executed before the insert. So before we, when we run the select, this is what was in there, and then we do the insert, and we insert a new t uh, record, but we don't see that because we did the select before we did the insert. So let me highlight the select statement and run that again. And we see, oh, now there's a Jamie. Jamie's number five. Now I'm going to rerun this insert statement. Notice what happens. It, it says, hey, a violation of primary key constraint. Okay, cannot insert duplicate key in the object region. So what that's complaining about, let me bring the region table back up, is that this region ID is guaranteed to be unique. It's set in the table schema. We haven't looked at how to create our own table schemas. We'll do that later in the course. But for now, just know that region ID has to be unique. I need some way to identify each row absolutely positively. And the way we do that is by these region IDs. So if I go here and I say, well, let's do six, okay, and, and rerun this insert, one row is affected. Notice we don't get a table back. It's just, hey, we, we inserted a row. Okay, so now I can come back up here, select splat from region. Region description is not guaranteed to be unique. Hence, I am able to have two records in there with Jamie as the region description, okay, but but the, the region ID is unique here. Okay, now I want you to notice something about this uh, insert statement. I use the keyword values here, and we only use values when we're literally putting values into our table. Notice I just typed it up here. Okay, now there's more than one way to grab data and to put that data into a table, and I'm going to do something a little bit contrived here, but but it works. It's, it gives you the rough ID, uh, idea. <laughs> Sorry. Um, basically, I'm going to select. I'm going to use select to generate a result set or a table with rows, and I want to insert the results of that select into the region table. So let's do something. I'm going to delete values and my literal values here. I'm going to say select um, region ID times two uh, region description description from region. And I could select from any table. I mean, it doesn't matter what's down here. As long as the number of columns returned by the select statement and the domain, meaning the data types, if they're ints, they're ints. If they're doubles, they're doubles. Or convertible to doubles. If they're strings, they're strings. All that kind of stuff. As long as I have the proper number of columns um, with the with the proper uh, data types, I can insert the result into my region. So here I'm just saying, give me the region ID, but times it by two. So uh, actually, let's do it by 10 so I don't um, violate any duplicate constraints here. So let me just highlight this part, hit F5. And so I'm going to insert, I'm basically duplicating all the data in the region table um, and then creating unique region IDs so that the insert statement doesn't complain to me and says, hey, your region IDs are not unique. So I'll basically watch this. I'm selecting, I'm producing this, this table result set, and I'm going to insert that into the region table. So let's highlight that portion, hit a five. Six rows affected, no table returned. Um, and then let's look, at, let's look at the result here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six with everything we had before. And then notice I just inserted the results 
of this bottom query into our table as well. So anyway, that's that's insert in a nutshell. Two two forms, values where you literally type values, or um, or you can have a query that returns the result set and insert the results of that set. Either way, you're good.